Welcome. This is Survival Saturdays and Sunday with Doodlebug Gaming. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to Settlement Survival. Yes, we are back in another video. I hope you are doing well. I'm not doing too bad at all. So, we are back to basics. Yes, this is the beginner series on Settlement Survival for the newbies and the first starting out. So, where did we get to last time? Well, if you haven't seen last time, then please go and check that on the top right of your screen of the playlist so we're doing okay we got some food we got some water we got some herbs so the herbs are having a little bit of an issue that we need to be careful of okay um we're getting some food from these we've got a little area where they can obviously mourn for the death um we haven't had any deaths yet so that is absolutely brilliant we're creating some sand and we've got some fishing going on as well. So that is good as well. Um, what we need to do actually, to be fair, what am I might... Um, no, actually I'm going to keep it there. Let's just put one person. We haven't... Oh, the building's closed. Okay. There you go. Excellent. We've got 166 fuel. So we need to start making fuel again. So we get two wood for 40 fuel. So that is brilliant. So that will start making us some there. Last year, we had six births happen last year. So that is um, quite a high number, to be fair. We've got a little orchard going on around our little churchy area. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. It's, it's, it, I'm, I'm with it today, you know. I'm, I'm actually banging it. I've got some guides of Settlement Survival coming out later on as well. Um, one of them to be about food. I've noticed a lot of people having some issues, and I had three inbox messages about how i can help someone or what i think would be the best thing about getting food um because they, they're they're saying pick them but no one seems to be picking them um so i will show you everything to do with that very very shortly um in a video coming out later today um we'll give you a little bit of tips and trips now i keep looking here and it's it's got a different texture what is that anyway? That's the soap. Um, right, beeswax. That's only really going to be the best thing there. Right, so we need we need quake beeswax because we need that for medical soap. Okay. Um, at the moment, everyone seems to be happy. Everything seems to be working. So I don't need to really do an awful lot. I mean, I can concentrate on the food. The water's really well. We're getting some more immigrants in. Are we going to take them? Do we really need them? No, we don't. We, we don't need any more people. So, um, I've got 18 labourers. Now, labourers, just for instance, I will go over this on another video, but labourers are the ones that pick stuff up and drop stuff off. They are also pe people that will go and pick food when you ask them to. Okay. Um, I will go back in another video about doing the food situation. Um, and certain things that you can unlock that will absolutely help you going forward. So we are not going to accept the immigrants. We don't need to. Basically what that's going to cause us is more issues down the road because we've got more people to feed. We've got people, more people to water and more people to clothe. So we don't need that because we've got set technically 17 labourers. Now, I, I class labourers as spare people, okay? They're not actually spare people. You do need labourers to pick up food and get resources. So, um, that yeah, they're not actually spare people. So, we're not going to accept them because we don't need to. Um, this is being built over here. We've got a new livestock. So, we've got alpacas now as well. So, we can actually try and see if we can fit in some alpacas. Um got one death one death has happened it's very very disappointing in our lives but rest in peace whoever died merry christmas 
Right, so let's do a pasture here. We'll do some more going along here. Um, again, pastures are good for getting animal poo. Um, could be feathers if it's a goose, or it could be um, other stuff like fur. Um, but they're also a very good food resource. So you can choose in a minute. I know we've gone through this before, but you can choose who is... Um, what animal you want to put in there and what actual you want happening so um, how many people can get slaughtered and so on not people animals I do not slaughter anyone please don't panic um, so yeah they're, they're gonna stay there we're not gonna accept them because we don't need them at the end of the day um, a lot of people go wrong I believe because they, they build too quick too soon this game is something about taking time taking you know you do it steady on you don't just go straight out uh let's change that to sand quickly so i need to start making some glass soon as well so this is our little production area down here um we've got clothes now you can see we haven't actually got any in stock so there's there's, there's a load variety of choices that you can choose for when you want if you hover over one you'll see at the top it says total reserve so you can see how many you've got in stock okay so we won't have any cotton. Um, so we've got 142 leather. So we're going to go with leather now. So it needs 10 leather to make 5 clothes. Okay. Um, now that job there. Now you're saying leather. So the leather needs to get into that place. So that is where the labourers come in. They will actually pick stuff up and drop stuff off to people. Okay. Um, so you need to always make sure you've got labourers because otherwise your production is not getting anything. The person in here that needs leather won't go and get the leather. Okay, it's not his job to. So you need labourers. If you've got no labourers, you won't be getting any resources in your production area. So that's something that you need to bear in mind. If you're flattening everyone out, like say I'm putting four people in here, Four people in there and so on you're gonna certainly run out of laborers and that means that certain places are not going to get what they need um, so you, you need to sort of be careful on that sort of side uh, we have one bioflask flask season so as you can see we're producing some clothing now so that is good um, we do need to start up in that just in case 479 we're not too bad but we'll give them one more um, herb is a problem, so we need we need to sort out the actual herbs themselves. Uh, we're going to go with alpacas, and we're going to kill only. It's going to be up to four, so we're going to four every four max capacity that can stay in there is four. Any more than that, they will get killed. Okay? Um, and they will give us meat, they will give us wool, and they will give us animal shit. So that is absolutely tremendous because there's a lot of shit in life, and if you can't get any more, then why not? Um, right, let's just cover this area up with stock. More stock warehouse started about everywhere. Can't have enough of them. Right, so they're all going. <clears throat> I could accept them, but I'm not going to because, as I say, we had six births last season, okay? All the year before. Now think about that. Them six are going to become children. Yep. Them six are going to be adults, okay? So... <laughs> We've got 33 kids at, on this in our settlement. So we can't afford to accept another 10 adults. That means they're going to start having a nice romantic session of making kids. That's going to be more kids. We could double it and it could end up getting quite bad. So we don't need any people. Um, I'd rather struggle a little bit if I needed to than get more people coming in. Um... Right, okay, so someone actually suffered from depression and they committed suicide. Um, they're not happy in their life. It's got nothing to do with the settlement survival. So, yeah, there you go. That's what I'm going with anyway. Right, the herb is low, okay? So, we nearly got technology points. So, what I think we need to look at, we need to start having a look at the herb area. So, this here we need to unlock. So, then we can unlock herb knowledge because... We need to make sure the medical is okay. And as you can see, we've actually run out. So that will be the next thing that we actually um, we actually do produce. So 
So that should be producing beeswax. And then from here, it should just deliver them. And then we get five soap. Um, as you can see, food happens very, very quickly. And it does go down very, very quickly. As you can see, we've only got 14 food now. Um, so we do need to probably do some more farms that we will do. Um, just to keep it going. So let's just make sure that is rounded up properly. So, you know, we, we had a thousand food a minute ago and stuff can go quite quick like that. So that is fine. What we do is we will get the planting going on a bit more. Yeah, <clears throat> might be too late to start planting now. But <clears throat> we will plant some more food and then what we do is to try and increase the food what we're gonna do um let's not they doesn't need two people to do these fields so i'm taking them out because i need them to collect other bits and bobs that are out in the wild <coughs> right so we've got this here they're collecting all the good stuff that we need as well. And they're collecting the beeswax. Um, but what we are going to do is we're going to put another one down because of the food situation. Now the food will be low at the moment because they're, they're eating it. But in a minute, you know, that you've got the harvest. So the food is going to increase a little bit. Um, this side isn't because obviously it's too late for when I actually put the field down. Um, so we've got a technology point. So what we're going to do is because we've got no herbs, we need to make sure that the health is, is on its way down at the moment because... We haven't got any, so um, we need that unlocked. So we've got another 2,600 points to do until we get it unlocked. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to just um, hopefully get through by getting the beeswax in here. So to make it happen a bit quicker, I'm going to put someone else in there. Just in case. What we're going to do is we're going to knock down four geese and turkey just so we can get some meat in there as well and buff it up a little bit just to get us through the uh, winter if you like uh, we're going to take someone out of the tools because at the moment we are quite sitting on tools quite well and fuel is doing well so we're going to take someone off the fuel right so the people that are here 17 labourers I want them to actually do something you know they've got to be doing something so I am going to Stick them on trying to get some some of all these they can gather loads of different things from that that would be absolutely tremendous right so so far it's not bad we've up to a thousand so next season because we planted a three more fields we should have an increase on um more food uh, we've got a trigger event here need silver coins nope we haven't got any silver coins at the moment. Um, hopefully we will do. So silver coins are up here. You can generate silver coins. So then you can actually go out and buy stuff from trading. That is very, very, very good. Right, let's have a quick sip of coffee. It's beautiful on a Sunday. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. If you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, when, where, wherever you're watching this, I hope this is helping and I hope that you like Settlement Survival. There is an awful lot more to come, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so here, we, we double the output of the fuel, okay? So this is two wood to produce 40, okay? This here is five wood to produce 10. So this... Is, is pointless because I am going to actually completely demolish this building because we don't need it because this is doing more than capable of what it needs to do um, it can also do planks so we will get planks done eventually but at the moment we're going to leave it how it is so we've got some more immigrants you know do we want them do we need them no we don't need them so I'm not going to take them got more people more problems more it just increases the population um 
and at the moment we're ticking on quite well we've got 92 as a population so we, we don't actually need them and to be fair we've got some others coming up here as well so we're going to leave that how it is that there is obviously if you remember in my last video that's because it's come to the production limit so I will leave it at 720 so we always have 720 fuel actually in our settlement survival area you need to think of what you're doing at all times okay so and a little tip really is that when the winter comes this field here these two people if you're short of people that is you need to close the field okay if you do not close the field them two people won't do nothing else they're connected to that field so you need to make sure if you need an extra two people don't don't decrease it don't take it from here just close the field okay you close the field and they disappear and they will just automatically become laborers okay when it comes to replanting it and you need to replant it you can just turn it on them two people will come straight back onto that field so it does help um because otherwise if you didn't do that that means you have to try and add more people again and you know you, you don't you don't technically need that right we found 21 herbs so far on the medicine um we've got to wait until we get some technology points to unlock it um but yeah no it, it's 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 we, we're doing well we've got some we've got nursery as you can see so we need to start putting the nursery in um i might put it actually there so we've got some water so water is all good housing is good got the housing got that we could do with making some alcohol i suppose um research have we planted a research yet i don't think we have have we no we haven't well that's a bit naughty so we need to put the research in now what the research does is this is quite a good building because it makes you get more development points quicker so it goes up quicker as it goes along um so yeah that is something that's very very good because obviously without development points you can't really do an awful lot in this game right so 46 need clothing yeah we're short on clothing but we are working our way to it we've got 30 leather alpaca so i'm going to change that to alpaca now the labor will go and get that um while we're waiting actually we're gonna get some more bits so everything from that side can be taken um i might have to do a bridge over and try and start emptying this area up a little bit maybe but at the moment we're, we're doing well we're, we're catering for the food you know, we're getting into the middle of the winter we've got fuel we've got food they're the main two bits that we need as you can see it's gone under the production limit of 720 and it automatically starts again so it's best to just leave them going don't keep up in it you don't need to keep up in this figure okay just leave it how it is all 700 if you want to leave it on 700 um and then that will go in and out and start producing it when obviously you go below that production limit itself um again got tools probably three 340 is going to be enough don't need any more than that we've got iron we've got stone we've got wood wood swell water is doing well so we're in quite a good place for the food situation um what else do we need we need to put a factory down as well eventually let's put that down and a distillery so we can get some spirits in so basically what we what we're doing here is that we're putting a clean factory down okay so what that will do is it will process glass so it can process sand clay and refined fuel into glass glass bottles and bricks okay um it's, it's after clay now obviously we're doing sand at the moment 
but I will change that back over to clay if we do need to, but at the moment we, we don't really need to do that, so we're pretty good. Um, right, we're just going to get the winter out of the way. As you can see, we're building a research lab. It's always good to have one. I thought I had one, but obviously not. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to make the area settlement a bit nicer to look at. Chop some of the trees down that we don't need. Excellent. So David is the one that's going to be doing that. So now he's doing that. What it's doing now is it's going to increase our development points. So it will move much quicker up the journey of love, baby. The journey of love. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Settlement Survival. Oh yeah, baby. So we've got some good videos coming out today, actually, for Settlement Survival. Um, again, it's like... You know, it's, it's all come from banishing it. Kingdoms reborn, same thing. But at least, at least they're a little bit different in the aspects of banish is a bit more um, older looking, if you like. Uh, Settlement survival. I know it's a newer game, but it's got nice little graphics. I quite like it. Um, got Sim Airport coming out later today as well. If you're watching this on a Sunday. Um, if you're watching this later than a Sunday, then please go and check that video out as well. Um, absolutely a brilliant um, Sim Airport. I, I haven't really played an awful lot of Sim Airport. Um, I'm just learning to play it now before I started a series. But again, like all my videos and everything that I try and do, I've done a intro for it as well. So go and check that out if you don't mind. Um, that would be much appreciated. Okay, so we've got 759 for food. So the food has been a bit tricky. Um, but we're not going to starve because we've got enough people to do what we need to do. And obviously these are going to top up the food. We've got 149 turkeys. You know, we're, we're not even in Christmas now. So we are pretty good with the turkey situation. Um, we have got the fishing. Okay. I've had a few people ask me about, well, you know, the fishing doesn't seem to collect an awful lot. Last year I collected 640 fish from that. The more people you have, the more product you produce. Okay, so if I thought, you know what, I'm going to put three in there. I would start producing much more. Now, for the fish, a very good one for the fish is this uh, area here, okay? So a fish pond is very, very, very good because it's got a higher output. Okay, and it's more stable, it's more consistent. Um, and it can be built on land, so you don't need the... Um, you don't need all of the water everywhere. So it can actually be built, built on land, and you can breed fish, if you like. Um, the one under that is also a good one to have. It's a fishing smelting, okay? Um, you can use fishing nets to acquire a large amount of fish products. So it's a bit like fish trade. It's a bit like trading, but for fish. Um, so you can use nets and you can actually trade fish. Right, so we're going to go with that. We're going to start creating some spirits now. Here, we're going to have some glass. We haven't got any refined fuel. So I'm going to just leave that on pause. Um, because I know that we haven't unlocked that yet. If I could find it, there it is there. So I know we haven't unlocked it. As you can see, the points, they're going up much, much quicker than they normally are. So um, research lab is the way to go. Alpacas and the world's biggest bear. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's biggest bear. Oh yeah, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Excellent, right. So we are processing. Again, we haven't got any herbs. We're getting close to it. So hopefully we'll be able to find some seeds. Because, um, again, it's quite hard to find some seeds. We've had two deaths. So two people have decided that, you know what? They've had enough in life. And this it's time for them to leave. So they have done that. Um, right, let me just... It's too large, is it? Okay, well... I want to put an orchard here. 
There you go. What we're going to do is we're going to plant some more trees. Now, 259 peaches were done last year. Okay. Now, we could put another person with that to make it more. But I don't think we need to here. Now, here, we may do. We will see. Um, I think they've collected everything over here that had stuff on there. Yeah, all the uh, bits and bobs have gone. Come on, have a little sip of coffee. Ah, beautiful. So, we're just coming out of winter, and we've still got quite a hefty bit of food, so that's good for us, but the happiness isn't very happy, so... Why are they not happy? Well, there's there's a few reasons behind this. The church is covering the houses, so they should be happy. Okay? You'd think so. Um, but they're not happy because probably more to do with entertainment. Okay, so once we get some spirits in... But I don't actually think we've got... Um, Algarve seeds. No, we haven't. So that's something that we need to look into. Um, let's see. Let's put some more gathering huts around the place. Because I think we're going to need to do that. One over there. One over there. Let's build a bridge over to that. a bridge that can go along there and along there excellent right so uh, the happiness is obviously going to go down we do expect that we know that's coming um, I'm hoping that we can find some Algarve seeds but this season should be better because we're planting more so a uh, new technology point, so we are going to go with medical herb. And herbs are low. Let's have a look at what seeds we've got at the moment. So, we've got oat seeds, apple tree, flax seeds, pumpkin, broccoli, winter peach, and pecan tree. Now, the seeds are recovered or discovered by the um, gatherer's hut, okay? Um, so, the more you have of them, the better it is for yourself. Normally, I try and put two people in at the same time, if I can. So, um, But, yeah, no, it's, just, it's doing very well so far. So, let's have apple trees. We're going to have two people running that field. That also gets timber. And it also gets apples themselves. So, that is good as well. Another little tip on getting some wood if you need it right guys i'm gonna leave it there this has been back to basics yes we are going right back to stripping it all out getting rid of everything and going back as we go i hope these series um these episodes are helping you i try and do it as much down to detail basic as i can and when i'm doing something i try and explain why i'm actually doing it um thank you thank you so much for joining me this has been another episode on back to basic settlement survival until next time i shall see you I will see you in another video. See you later. And remember, stay happy.